No, 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 wouldn't change direction. Please change direction and blow it the other way. But it's amazing how quickly the sun comes up. I mean, you saw the moon, it disappeared within a couple of seconds. But I haven't seen mist over the northern Sabi sand like this before. I just... I just I was just imagining a song in my head and then the lyrics came out or well, the way that I said it, it matched the lyrics. I apologize, I'm not going to sing it now, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> oh no, what's wrong with me David? So, actually, so much. Um, I apologize for my little moment that I just had, I've got the serious giggles. I don't know why. <laughs> I can't compose myself, I'm sorry. Um, as we watch the sun come up, it's really beautiful. It actually almost looks like a bit of an ocean, don't you think, David, with a couple of islands in the middle? And those aren't low-lying clouds, because okay, so that's mist, and those are trees that you are looking at. <laughs> David, I'll sing the song to you off air. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is just amazing. But I'm actually going to just sit to, for quietly for one minute to compose myself and that also so that you can sit and listen to the beautiful dawn chorus. And there it comes. I hope that you are all enjoying this as much as I am, or David and I are. And this is probably one of the most special things you could ever do when you're in Africa, and it was one of my favorite things to do. If my guests were willing to get up early enough, you just have to fill them up with coffee and rusks and biscuits and all types of things to get them going load them in the car and then you go and find the most perfect spot and my most perfect spot was at the dam in front of the lodge at a beautiful dead knob thorn with a massive buffalo weaver nest and there were always hippos there was always a pot of about 10 hippos and there was a big gap it was almost like you were in a in a rift and you could see straight towards the east and where the sun came up and there were no obstructions just a small row of trees and to see the hippos snorting and having them backlit, just everything about it was really beautiful. And to me, I know yesterday we were talking about what is the sound of Africa. And to me, the sound of Africa is hippos first thing in the morning. That, that whole snorting in the water and blowing the water up. And then, of course, that beautiful... <coughs> David, you're supposed to do it with me. <coughs> We have to challenge to, uh, James and Byron, of course, to hippo calls this morning. David, we're almost there. We've got a couple of minutes, and I know we're spending a lot of time with the sunrise, but like I said, it's something very special. And I don't know when we've watched a sunrise from the beginning until it completely pops up. We haven't done this for a very long time. And I think it's important to appreciate something like this. Yeah, well, of course we can. Kirsty's just said that the hyenas have popped out again. So the sun's still going to rise. Let's go back across to James.